Hey friends, dog cakes were super trendy when I was a little boy and now they're back and they're a huge trend. I made a doll cake last Halloween that I zombified, so I think it's about time I made one that's beautiful and human-like. The zombie one's gonna be upset you're talking about it like that. Ooh, here she comes! <laughs> Last time I made a doll cake, we used a molded pan. This time, I'm going to stack this up and carve it out. So I have an 11 inch, an eight inch, six inch, and four inch to kind of get that dress shape, and then we'll make it into a dress. That's what that means. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. So this is my vanilla cake dyed pink. That recipe is where, guys? At you've been deserted.com! Right down there. I'm really happy we're not using a moldy pan this time. A moldy pan? You said we used it a mold pan last time. No, we used a pan that was like a, the mold, it's the shape of a, shut up Brandon. I'm gonna keep the top domed like that because that'll be the first part of the dress, but I'm gonna cut these in half and we're gonna fill it. Ugh. These remind me of giant hot dogs. Uh, why did you do that? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna clean my mess up. We're gonna fill this with vanilla buttercream. It's gross. Joshua, you know what I think is not cool? What's that? It's like kids get all these cakes that look like things. Like this doll cake, you know, you'd make for your, your daughter, something like that. I want cakes that look like things I like. Um, you got a shoe cake once that I made. Yeah, once. <laughs> <laughs> I, want a cake, I want a cake that looks like a white claw. Or, a, or a... <laughs> Not a white claw. <laughs> <laughs> Shoes and white claw, that's all, that's, all, that's all you are. I'm really liking this hot dog cake, JJR. It's gonna be a beautiful dress. Hot dogs are not gross. Hot dogs are disgusting. No, they are not. I hate hot dogs. You know I hate hot dogs. Take a couple Franks, heat them up in the microwave. A little bit. <sighs> First trip to the cooler, we're gonna get her super firmed up, all the buttercream completely firm, and then we're gonna carve out. That's how you carve out the dress. I'm very animated today. Speed, do the thing. Are we ready? Yep. Okay. The Joshua, cake, were you just combing the doll's hair? The cake, the cake is all firm. I had to make sure. That, I'm gonna have to fix it, you know. <laughs> anyway, this is our model. Her name. What's her is name? Beverly. Hi, Beverly. Beverly Hill. Her name is Beverly Hill. Yeah. What's What's the deal with the black stuff there? Well, I don't, she's in front of a lot of people. Like she's she's. It's very, like a sensor bar. Yeah, so it's just a very vulnerable moment. <laughs> We're gonna put clothes on you, I promise. Look at her, she's like, wait, I got you. <laughs> Anyways, my point is, is that uh, sometimes when you're sculpting this without having like that doll pan, it helps to have the doll here so that you can sort of get your idea as far as shape. So that's where she'll go, this will be her dress. Can we get makeup and hair in here? We're having a few flyaways. I'm, I'm gonna fix it. I should have named her. She looks like Shania Twain from like the 90s. <laughs> Any cake dress of mine. You better look damn fine. I was waiting. Hey, I feel like a doll woman. I feel <laughs> like a Barbie. <laughs> the thing when you're sculpting is take away little bits at a time. It's much easier to take away a little bit than to put back a lot bit. I hope you don't disappoint the doll. I think she's gonna love her dress. Cause if she doesn't, she'll say, that don't impress me much. <laughs> I love how I just mentioned one person and y'all like know uh, Shania Twain songs crack me up. That just goes to show you how popular she was in, in the 90s. Well, I think still is actually. When I was in sixth grade, I went to a Shania Twain concert. Did you really? You bet your buns. My first two concerts ever were country artists. Brandon, what was your first concert? Uh, it was the Beach Boys. Ooh, I can totally see cool. that for you. What was your first concert? Let it me guess. Was... Nickelback. No. <laughs> Let me guess. ICP. No. <laughs> Dude, I went to a Guar concert once and it was awful. My first concert was uh, WPGC 95.5 Summer Jam, headlined oh. by Usher Ooh. and an artist who was canceled, so I won't say their name. It's a pink volcano hot dog. I was dog. just going to say. <laughs> In this episode, we're going to make a pink hot dog volcano <laughs> cake. <laughs> no, this is the point where you can like cut in like movement and stuff, but I'm going to just, we're going to keep it simple and smooth because I want to mirror glaze it. And I want the mirror glaze to fall really nicely. It's going to be all pink and sparkly. Are you going to buttercream it? No. Yeah. What do you think, Beverly? Oh, she's going to be beautiful. Let's see, Bev. Okay. She's got her fighting hands up. 
Yeah, get over here. Okay, let's give her a crumb coat. Bye. Crummy coats. Get into a yacht. Hey Joshua, how'd you learn how to uh, buttercream pink hot dog volcanoes? I'm just curious. <laughs> <laughs> Is that something that I teach you in culinary school or? <laughs> I hate you guys so you much. Trust Bye your man. intuition. Fired, you all fired. What color are we gonna buttercream the outside? Hot dog pink. Hot dog pink? <laughs> okay. HTP. <laughs> it's not a hot dog. Shut up, Brandon. Okay. We're gonna do the final coat now with pink buttercream. This is more of a, like a bubblegum color. Yeah, but the, the mirror glaze we pour over this will be all sparkly and a deeper color pink. Cause she's a sophisticated lady, that Beverly. Hey, Joshua. Yo. Wanna listen to some viewer comments while you work? Yeah, viewer comments. I wanted to have some fun this week. So this week, the comments are comments that aren't on our own channel. Weird. Yeah. Just random comments that I get to listen to? So I, st I started seeing some comments on our channel talking about how Man About Cake was posting stuff again. Yeah. So I was like, what? So I went over there and looked, and they're posting some stuff that we shot a long time ago. Which like is totally five years ago. Well, yeah, but that's their, they own it. That's their right. They should be able to post whatever they want. That's cool. But what I thought was really cool was we had a bunch of people come over there and say like, hey, go check out the new channel. It's called You've Been Deserted. I saw that and you guys so, rock for that. I, I look, I'm gonna screen, I screen grabbed a lot of them. I didn't get near to all of them, but this, I got tired of doing it because there were so many. But here, Brandon, will you just throw all of these on screen real quick? Yeah. See, I appreciate this so much. Yeah, you guys, you guys this is stick, awesome. You guys, yeah, you guys are awesome. All mama bears for us. There are, there are cake slayers. They are slayers. The slayers. Yeah. There are a couple people who I thought we should shout out, especially because they were like really doing their part. They were okay. doing a little extra. So we got the Synthwave Taco. Uh, <laughs> What's up, responded. Taco? He actually moved to his own YouTube channel. It's been posting on it for a while. It's called You've Been Deserted. Thought that was awesome. That's amazing. Thank you. Catmo said, He's been posting on a new channel called You've Been Deserted. You should check out what they've made over there. All the same people. Don't you love how all the people who watch this show, it's like a built-in marketing and PR. <laughs> yeah, they're awesome. And they were all like so polite. No one was like blasting anybody. They're all being really nice about it. Love it. And then last one is Panya09. Yes, JGR has a new personal channel called You've Been Deserted. Posts a lot of content there. If you haven't already, please go sub them there. They'd appreciate your support. Happy smiley face. We Which, yeah, you're right. We would. Thank you. 100%. Yeah, and I, I I do read all of your comments, and I've gone over and talk, seen some of those as well. We appreciate it. But also, yeah, I want you guys to know once again, and I try to clear this up a lot. We don't own that channel. We mean them no harm, but thank you for those people who can't fine to pull them over to our channel. So every once in a while, I get like, oh my god, here you are. I'm like, yeah, we have like 50 episodes. <laughs> So yes, keep doing that because we want people, we'll, we can share it a lot. Yeah, we have no idea if they're gonna post more or what they're gonna do with it either, but all of it's kind of old because you can tell by JJR's hair and tattoos if you look carefully. Last shout out is to Sarah Bacak. Hi Sarah. I, I, I'm probably butchering your name and I'm so sorry, but she has been a warrior. She posted a lot of responses, letting people know about YBD and that was very much appreciated. So thank you, Sarah. Yes, thank you so much. I will make you a doll dress cake. Okay. Who's that guy on SpongeBob? With the, it's like SpongeBob's <laughs> I buddy. I hate you. This segment. Squidward. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick. Patrick. <laughs> Time to mirror glaze our dress cake. I have some clear mirror glaze here, and we're going to color it. I'm going to use the color I used for the buttercream, which is like this like pinky fuchsia color. But it may be a little too bubblegum, so we're just going to experiment here. So this one's called Baker's Rose. Okay. The cool thing about it is that because it's clear, the pink that's behind, you know, like the, the buttercream pink, it's already pink. So we're just gonna like add to that pink if that makes sense. That's kind of a cool color, but I wanna go further. <laughs> I like this color, oh. I think. Ah! Woo! That's so not like you to wanna push the limits. No, because I like the color pink. We're also gonna put in some pearl dust so it, and some Ooh. sparklies, just a few. Sparklies. Oh, sparkly? Well, that's new for you too. Just wait, James, we're not finished. Look behind you! Oh, look what's there? Of course he's using more gold! No, look, I've never I've never put gold flakes into mirror glaze. We experiment on the show all the time. It's gonna be, I think it's gonna be great. 
I have to wear Kleenex boxes for shoes because we have no money. <laughs> we have to hide our keys because JJ will go pawn our cars so we can get more gold. I don't know if that's actually going to work. The gold may be covered up. Oh, you can kind of see it. Oh, good, but we already spent the money. <laughs> I so. put $60 worth in there. <laughs> Here we go. Ooh. I'm having so many feelings right now. It's very trippy. You can see the little gold flags. Oh my God. Man, it covered everything. That was the perfect amount. Drippy, drippy, drippy. So since the cake is cold, the glaze is already starting to set. And eventually it'll stop dripping and then we can put her on her presentation board. I mean, I think she's gonna win Tiny Fake Miss America. <laughs> <laughs> Most edible. <laughs> Most edible. <laughs> Most likely to be delicious. <laughs> There she is, <laughs> Miss Tiny Edible America. With a pink hot dog volcano dress. <laughs> it's not that anymore. Stop, did it get hot dog here? <laughs> I'm gonna get this into the cooler so the glaze sets up completely. While that's happening, we'll make her top. Let's go, volcano hot dog. I hate you guys so much. Yes. I'm gonna use this rose mold to make her top. This is much easier than making the actual skirt part, but I wanna make it while she's off of the cake so that we can just slide her in. And I'm just gonna stab her into this piece of styrofoam. Whee! I'm gonna glue these with my leftover mirror glaze. I think I'm gonna go like, like this, make it real chic. Chic? Beverly only wears designer clothes. What? All right, I'm gonna start gluing them on her with my leftover mirror glaze. Tickle, tickle. <laughs> See, so I'll just put all these roses together. It's gonna look so cool. Okay, I took her arm off because it's much easier. I just realized to do this with her arm off. She's still happy, look at her. Her mirror glaze is set up and cool. So I'm just gonna trim the bottom to get all the excess off and then we'll put it onto the board. This is always kind of scary, but you just have to go for it. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Hey, SpongeBob! <laughs> the other day I was swimming and someone cut off the top of my head! It's like having two brothers I never wanted. <laughs> okay, before I put her on here, I gotta do something with her hair, but I don't really know how to do hair. So, um, whoa, I got a rubber, ba a rubber band. Do a side pony. I should. Anybody got a tiny hat? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like this, one of those this, little baseball helmets used to come is, on a Sunday. This is not yeah. fun. No, that's not it. What if I put... This is hard. I'm really glad we saved this to do this on camera. <laughs> Poor head harder. <laughs> Let's see. No, it's gotta, it's gotta stay down. <laughs> it's good! <laughs> it looks great! Yeah, where is she going though? <laughs> Oh no, what am I gonna do? My hands are my hands are sweaty and so I'm like freaking out. You know what, I wonder if I could, I'm gonna brush her hair with a fork. Like Ariel. <clears throat> Hold on, that does not work, it's such a little tangled. Why is it getting bigger? It, it actually, the hair's all going this way so I'm actually just going to see, it's looking better. I needed, uh -huh. to, br I needed to brush it. She's going to the Met Gala, dude. See, I had to fix it before it gets on there because I can't, if I keep fiddling with it with the cake, it'll sink, you know what I mean? Can I slick it down with like some fat? Like yeah! Butter? Yeah! <laughs> I love how you're just like so, yeah, that's how you do it. I yeah! Uh, then how am I gonna get it out if it's gross and it's all nasty and matted? Go wash it out, go wash it out. You but so, she has an abundant have... top. I think butter's gonna work. She looks pretty. I think mirror glaze. I think it's gonna look like those kids that don't shower. That's what I'm thinking. No, no. The hair looks all piecey and greasy. Um, let me think, let me think, let me think. I don't know what to do. I think I'm just gonna leave it like this. Why is it? That's no, beautiful. do it. That's beautiful. What's wrong with this? We're, we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna own it. All right, here we go. You ready? What? What? It does look pretty good. I'm having a hard time seeing the hot dog volcano now. <laughs> oh no, her hair's getting in the, ooh, stop, you're shedding. It wouldn't shed if there was a good coat of butter in there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get some mirror glaze and make the top a little bit shiny. But so far, I think she looks like she's ready to go to prom, the Oscars. 
Mm. Both. The mall. The mall. In Argentina. <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> Y'all, Beverly is ready for the ball, and this was so much fun. If you want any of our recipes, they're all at you'vebeendeserted.com. Right down below, I'll put the recipe for my vanilla cake, which is what her dress is. While you're down there, hit subscribe. I'm Joshua John Russell, and you've been deserted. Let's cut her. I'm sorry.